Hello Foamers, this is Divya Shwarya. Welcome back to DD Fluids. In this video tutorial, we will see how to uh, avoid or correct the common errors that we face during open foam installation in uh, Windows operating system. So without wasting much time, let us begin. So here I have listed uh, five basic or common mistakes that you do. If you are facing some other mistakes or some other errors, then you can all, always uh, put your error in the comment section. I will be happy to answer or address that, those queries. So first one is a WSL enabling error. So when you uh, run your first command, you will get that error. So let me start with uh, going on the website or uh, YouTube channel that from where you download or watch the videos. So from this, you will see this all tutorials, installation tutorials in different parts, part one, part two, part three and part four. So the, the first one is a uh, WSL based query. So when you, when you install or run your first command, this command, uh, in your PowerShell, you get the, you will not get same message that I'm getting on this screen. In that case, uh, you will have to check whether you have uh, appropriate windows operating system version or not. So here, two things that you need to check. The first one is uh, either your Windows 10 build is 16 to 15 or above. And second thing is whether your uh, operating system is 64 bit or not. If, if it's 32 bit, in that case, uh, you'll uh, not be able to install WSL. So let's see both of these things how to check and if you are not getting this then you can always update your uh, windows so go to your settings then here uh, you can just search for about about your pc and there you will see all this information so here uh, if you go down you'll see this window specification and here my OS build is 19043, which is all uh, uh, above than 16215. So that's correct. I can install WSL. The next second next thing that you need to check is this uh, system type. So it's 64 bit. So it will work for me. If it is not, uh, this OS build is not more than uh, 16215 in that case you will have to update your windows in that case you can go to just here updates and security and you can simply click on update and that will up update your windows okay uh, if your uh, system or windows 10 is uh, fulfilling both of this requirement and still you are not able to install or you are not getting same message on your screen in that case you can follow these steps so just uh, in your window just search for this turn windows features on or off um, this uh, window so i'll just type this windows sure on or off and from here you can also enable uh, your virtual machine platform and uh, windows subsystem for linux so if you go down you will see both of this here virtual machine platform and the second thing is subsystem for linux so you just need to check both of these and then you can restart your operating system and then you can continue watching your uh, following the video tutorial the second 
uh, error that you face uh, is during copying downloaded open form file from windows to wsl so basically we download our case uh, sorry the open form tgz dot tgz extension file in our windows system so you we will have to move this to our wsl so for that we run this command so let me just show you in in the video so somewhere here you see this command cp hyphen ar then all this thing and you face uh you get some error that a file is not available or it's not able to copy or something or any error in that case you will have to check two things the first one is user uh name that you are putting in uh so here you can see if if your uh, username doesn't have any space then this is not for you if it has some space for example dd space fluids something like that in that case you will have to add extra backward slash so here uh, your user in this section you will have to add dd then slash and then space and then fluids then you can continue the second next thing that you will have to check is your downloaded file is in downloads folder and the version name these two things that you need to check if they are correct in that case you can uh, type this command and you will not get any error uh, another error that you face uh, is uh, during sorry after installing your open form uh you type this command echo then source opt open form open form 2012 and all this thing uh there you face the the error that you you still not able to run your um open form commands in that case what you need to check is this particular open form version whether you have installed open form 2012 or some other latest version in that case you will have to uh, change this uh, version name here in the uh, in this command or you can manually go to bash rc or zsh rc file and then you can modify it another error that you face is uh, during um, enabling gui based application so let me show you that so when you run uh, in enabling graphical application video uh, when you run these two commands uh, and continue with uh, checking it and you type gedit command and uh, you get some error that uh, uh, this um, let me show you that error i have a sample so you get something like this so no such file directory and then uh, opt open form then bash rc export and something like this number uh, could be anything so this kind of error you get uh, in that case what you will have to do is uh, you can go to uh, this zsrc file or bash rc file or both and then you check uh, these two lines so first line should be source then your whatever file is and then after bash rc the line will end and then you uh, add one more line that echo uh, display is equal to zero then colon then zero now this zero is something that you need to uh, try for some other uh, options for example if you go here and go to your description box uh, you can just check uh, this command available and there i already mentioned all the possibilities so here you first need to check uh, if you get any error that 
this line is correct or not then you can you know modify as per this numbers or if you still not uh, be able to uh, run any if you are still getting errors in that case what you can do uh, you can just uh, type is zero colon zero that should work the last thing is running paraform command so i have a dedicated video on paraform command so here in uh, if you uh, go to my youtube channel and uh, search for this uh, paraform command not working in windows 10 in that case uh, you will see all the uh, steps to follow and there I mentioned like how to create one paraform like command your your own command that will work as a, a paraform command. So here I mentioned that uh, paraview windows is the some another command that I created. If you don't want to uh, use paraview windows in that case you can simply go for paraform but P will be capital small p uh, uh, there are chances that it will clash with the original command so you can just make a capital p and paraform and in this command you will have to check this file location so in program files this particular paraview version that you have installed for example i have installed 5.9.0 and that i need to check cross check with my uh, windows file location if uh, this is correct this is correct and this is correct then uh, you will be able to run this command and that will uh, works perfectly as a paraform command so this was all for today uh, if you are facing any other issues or any other error please uh, post in the comment I will be happy to help. With this, let's wrap up the video for today. See you in the next video.